What's going on everyone? Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News. My name is Chris. Welcome to the show. Got some breaking news for you of what's going on in the media. The story is going to be focused around Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry. And so basically let's get started. Let's get to work and here we go. So, welcome back everyone. Basically, here's what's going on. The Teton Coroner's Office in Wyoming has confirmed the body that they found is none other than Gabby Petito. So, basically, if you guys don't know what's going on, if you've been under living underneath a rock, or not paying attention to what's going on in the media, Brian Laundry and his fiance, Gabby Petito, were on a trip. Gabby wanted to do the whole um, YouTube thing. She was doing it to get started. Brian Laundry and his fiance, Gabby Petito, well, have been on a road trip. And this all started back in earlier during the summer. Um, they started their trip off and from New York, going to all these wonderful parks and wonderful places, Utah, other places such as Wyoming, and, and Gabby Petito's family hadn't heard from her since late August. The last message that uh, Gabby was sending out was to apparently her grandfather and stuff and called him by his first name, which Gabby never ever did. And so things presumed and things went on from there. Um, no text, no service. So how can you be in a uh, national park? How can you be off the grid and you can't send a text? It kind of is really weird that there was body footage that they had leading up to her death. And so um, she got pulled over, her and Brian got pulled over. There was escalation, they were fighting. And so um, there's a lot of speculation to where she started it, he started it. And she was the instigator, he was the instigator. The, the cop was blinded by his own marriage because he was talking about his own wife and um, this is what I have to put up with my wife as well. You could see it on the body footage. Basically, I think that's where the first screw up was. There is footage of John Walsh talking about this and John Walsh actually nailed it. So here is my thought about what John Walsh said. First screw up was when they got into the argument the cops were called. And so basically I think he lost it. And so um, he thought, you know, I'm going to get back at her, you know, you know, this, this, this cannot be, and this cannot go on any longer. And now the cops are, you know, involved. So basically he probably thought, mm, you know, I'm going to get back at her. So that's what he probably did was, you know, after they got back together later on the next morning, because Gabby stayed in the van and honestly, uh, Brian stayed in a hotel. Um, they got back together that morning, so put two and two together. Um, they made their differences after they made their differences. Um, they continued, but he was kind of planning in his head. Um, there were um, stories that are being leaked by the press that basically, um, that with interviews of Gabby's friends, family members, uh, Brian's friends, family members, but Brian really doesn't have any friends, it looks like. So, put two and two together. So, Brian comes back home after all this happening with Gabby, and um, basically, he probably tells his parents what's going to happen. The parents, you could tell, are covering up for him. And not only that, there's a lot going on with this as well. Just because um, you have the parents covering up for their son, and you also have um, Gabby that's passed away, been murdered, and this is a homicide. So just because TMZ also released some statements as well about Gabby, and so since TMZ said that this was a homicide investigation, you know Brian had something to do with it. So in the timeline where all this is going on with Brian, after Brian leaves, uh, 
I put two and two together pretty quick and after Brian leaves, he disappears. He says he's gonna go hiking for the next couple of days and so basically he takes the Mustang, his parents' Mustang, disappears. That's giving him a head start. After giving him a head start, he could flee the country, he can go underground, but basically people say that he was in Tennessee, he was in this state and that state, and honestly, not only that, so while this is all going on, everybody's trying to find the body of Gabby just because who comes home without their fiance, and basically who in the hell can say that this guy is right in the head because you know you bring home your fiance so he probably told the parents of what was going on parents told him to go on the run not talk not to talk to um any of the fbi or the police after that they lawyer up getting a lawyer what is the lawyer really going to really do obviously since brian is looking bad already so to continue this on let's continue this on okay so they find Gabby's body but in the meantime there is some there's some footage that's been leaked on um, with a lot of youtubers out there that are trying to put the pieces together such as like I am you have somebody by the name of nerve gorilla that's uh, you know basically done some investigation work and he's put the footage together from the woman who talks about being at the same park as Gabby as well and heard her uh, husband driving through the park really slowly. Now, if you can look at it, the, some of the footage right beside me here, you will see that, you know, some of the footage that, you know, as you come around the corner and start heading for Gabby's van, white van, you could see basically of uh, the door being shut. If you don't believe what I'm saying, go to this channel and it's going to be in the description of the footage that I'm showing you right here of Gabby's van. Somebody shutting the door right before you get to Gabby's van. So, you know, you could see the door is being shut and you could also see um, the sandals on the ground. There are two sandals that are on the ground as well of Gabby's. I'm thinking that Brian was already digging. The damage was already done. I think by that point that Gabby was already dead. Brian was digging a hole. Brian was doing something because if you look back in this footage, you could actually see somebody's foot inside the van. If you, if you kind of, if you zoom in, I know it's blurry and really hard to see in the background of, of you know, somebody digging a hole or somebody's foot inside the van, but I think Brian and I think Gabby had the same sandals as well. So since they had the same sandals, I think by that point that she was already dead, I think she's already dead right after they got to that park, they decided to park and Brian decided to snap. Brian was a narcissist from what I understand from the stories from what Gabby's friends say. And not only that, since he was a narcissist, he didn't want her to have any friends. Now, there was a friend of Gabby's, her best friend, hung out with Gabby quite a bit, and she was supposed to go out to the bar with Gabby, and basically what Brian did from what she said was, Brian took Gabby's ID and hid it somewhere to where she couldn't go out with her friends. And Brian was very controlling. He didn't want her to have any friends. So Brian, if you see the body cam footage from when they were pulled over, you could see that Brian is not all there. And you could kind of see that he has a few mental issues and a few screws loose. Now what happens? They continue finding Brian. Brian's still missing. Brian knows that everybody knows that Brian is on the run and including news organizations out there. Not only that. So basically, overall, Brian is out there still. His Spotify music, from what I found out from another YouTuber, 
His music was updated just day before yesterday's. They're still looking for Brian. He's somewhere out there. He's relying on his survival skills. He knows that, you know, the law is looking for him, that he's wanted. He knows he's in trouble. He knows he did do something to Gabby. We all know that. The pieces are being put together. And there's always a version of his story. But, you know, it's easy to go over footage. It's easy to go into interviews, what's being said, what's not being said. But if you look at the footage, if you look at everything, if you do your homework, well, you can wrap yourself around the story. And if you really wanted to get into the story, look at some of the pieces of her friends, what family members are saying of Brian, what family members are saying of Gabby, um, what people are saying all around in their circle as well, people that are close. Uh, the footage that when they got pulled over of uh, stuff what's being said not in the media though uh, but what's being said with friends and family members so um i will keep you up to date on this this is a very very important story so that's my story i thank you guys for watching this what you can do is like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and this has been a top global media see you next time bye for now